Hi lads, Dinny here from Dinny Collins Fitness again in Swords. Uh, Thursday tip today, I just want to talk to you about vicious and virtuous circles. So if you understand this, it's really easy to see how one positive thing feeds into another positive thing, or at the same time, it sort of give you a aha moment of going, how you see how one negative thing feeds into another negative thing. Um, I have to Google the spelling of this, so I'll have it correct today for once. Uh, so a vicious circle is, both of these are mean the same thing. One is a positive outcome and one is a, one is a, a negative outcome. Um, so vicious or virtuous circles are a sequence of reciprocal cause and effect in which two or more elements intensify. Uh, so just one thing affects another thing a little bit better, which affects another thing a little bit better. So it's like a snowball effect, whether it's for a positive or a negative outcome. Um, so I just want to talk a little bit about the negative one, because this is where a lot of people are stuck in a negative vicious circle. So, um, they're eating junk food. And what does that do? Does it give you great energy? Does it make you feel great? No. Does it make you gain weight? Yes. So that's going to feed into something like no energy. Why? There could be some spe spelling errors <laughs> here. No motivation as well. If you're fueling your body on junk, you have no motivation. No motivation. Um, feel terrible. Why not? You're eating junk, you've no energy, you've no motivation, you're probably... Uh, feel bad. Feel bad. Um, what else have I got? You're gaining weight. Another sort of... You're feeling bad, you've no motivation to do anything. You, you, this keeps snowballing, and now you're gaining weight. Uh, another cause of effect of this Maybe you're not doing any exercise. No exercise. Um, without exercise, one of the great things exercise does will help you sleep better. So of course sleep. Of course you wake up the next day after your no exercise, all this, and again you're just into that cycle again of right, I'll eat junk food, I'll, I've no energy, I've no motivation, I can't do my exercise, I feel crap. I'm gaining weight, and you're just stuck in that cycle. Um, no confidence, another one. And you're just stuck in that cycle of negative events, just really happening. But the great news is the virtuous circle, the good vicious circle, if you will, again, if you understand this, a sequence of reciprocated events in which two or more elements intensify. And that just means that all we need to do is do one thing right, and then we're going to see that snowball effect. All right. So I always say only one workout against change and everything. One workout against feeling amazing. One workout. Because your body is made to move. That's the deal. Uh, nature rewards you with it. It's like it's way of tricking you into moving it with serotonin, a real feel-good hormone. That's why you're buzzing after a workout or a run. You feel great. And that's just nature's way of tricking us to move. We're designed to move. So if we don't move, um, everything falls to pot. So step one, move the body. Very hard to stick to a diet program or anything if you're just relying on, on willpower, because willpower will fail after a while. You need to work with nature, with how we're designed them to go. So one workout, you start with one workout, lads, okay? What happens after one workout? Feel. What happens after one workout? You're saying I can't walk the next day. <laughs> that could be true for the first one. Yeah, but you feel amazing, you're buzzing, you're always like really, in a great mood after your first workout. Um, that night, do you think you have a good night's sleep after doing a bit of training? Hell yeah, great sleep. Have so a good night's sleep. Later on that day, let's say if you trained, we were in this morning, there was about 35 people trained this morning in 6 and 7 a.m. classes. I done a bit of training with them, it was savage. So then you go forward in the day and you think you make better food choices. Of course you do. You're after training your body. Uh, your body's going to crave better foods. You're not going to have them sugar cravings. Your insulin levels are going to be more controlled when you, when you exercise as well. So you're not going to have the big sugar cravings. So it's going to be much easier to eat better. What else have we got here? Happier. Of course you are. You're on the buzz, lads. Plus confidence. When you're over this side, you're stuck in a negative mindset. Everything is a disaster. Yada, yada, yada. You do one workout, you're on the buzz, and suddenly you're looking at things um, more positively, and you've much more confidence. Now, I'm dragging on here, so I'll try and speed it up. Um, your body starts to look better, because if you're happier, eat better, you have a great sleep. 
what are you going to do the next day? Or the two days later, whatever. You're going to work out again. And you're just feeding into this cycle. And eventually then, when you're in this cycle, cause and effect, it's just snowballing. One thing feeds into another thing. Um, what else have I got here? Train again, body looks fitter, weight. Start to lose weight. As a consequence of doing the training frequently, and eating a little bit better. But I hope you're getting the picture here that it's only it's only one thing it takes to change, and it's just doing that first workout. Start with the movement, lads. You're designed to move. Uh, very difficult to stick to a diet program without the exercise. I always say to people when they start, I mean, a personal trainer, and if everything's a disaster, we just start with the training. We don't even talk food initially. Get them moving, get them feeling good, and that doesn't take long. A workout or two in your bosom. All right. So I hope that made a bit of sense to you, and hopefully give you an aha moment of boom. Yes, all I need is one step, and I get onto that virtual circle of things changing, things getting better, all right? And all the time we slip onto this, everyone does, myself included. But once you have the awareness that it's just boom, one step, and you're back on it, you're back in the virtual circle. So we're sort of falling between the two sometimes, but we want to live our life mostly over here. Sometimes we get stuck over here and you need a little bit of help. Give me a buzz, give me a Facebook message. We do classes, we do personal training. We have all sorts of options to get you going in this, but as I say, you're only ever one workout away from changing everything and feeling amazing. Three months to Christmas, lads. We have plenty of good deals going with Dini Collins Fitness. Give us a message um, on Facebook or give me a buzz. We'd love to talk to you, get you down for a trial class if you're interested. If you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching and please give it um, a like, share, and if you would like any other tips, uh, stick them in the comments and I'd love to help you and answer them. Okay, lads, have a great Thursday. Dini out. Ooh.